In this video, you'll see how to calculate taxes with Stripe on your MemberPress website. If you're accepting payments through Stripe, you can use it to calculate taxes for you too. Staying compliant with tax requirements can be a big challenge and a hassle. Tax rates and rules are always changing and can be really confusing. Stripe Tax makes sure that you're tax compliant so you don't run the risk of paying out penalties as you grow your business. Stripe Tax will automatically calculate taxes on your one-time and recurring payments right on your registration pages. So before you get started, you'll need to have the MemberPress plugin installed in your WordPress site, and you'll need the Stripe Payment Gateway connected in the MemberPress settings. So first, you're going to enable Stripe Tax in your Stripe account. So go to the Stripe website, and then click here to log in. And then sign in here with your Stripe credentials. Once you're signed in, you'll be taken to the Stripe dashboard. And then in the top right corner, click this cog icon. And then under the tax section, click settings. So the next thing you need to do is add your origin address. This is your business address and it'll be used to calculate taxes. If you don't have yours added already, there'll be an option here to click add origin address. And then you'll just enter your business address. You can see I already have mine set up here, and chances are you might too if you already have Stripe set up. So once you have your origin address set here, next you'll choose your preset or default product category here. Just click the drop down, and then select the tax category that fits your business the most. Stripe has some helpful support documentation that explains these categories more, and it can help you figure out what you should use. Don't take this to the bank, but a lot of times membership purchases would fall under general electronically supplied services. So I'll just choose that for my example. But again, check out Stripe support documentation for some more guidance on what you should use. And then here under include tax and prices, you can choose how you want Stripe to calculate taxes. But whatever option you choose here won't actually affect your membership registration pages in MemberPress. That's because whatever is selected here will be overridden by what's set in your MemberPress settings. So I'm gonna just leave this set to automatic. And then I'm gonna show you what it looks like in the settings in a minute. Okay, and then down here under options to integrate tax, just make sure this use automatic tax calculation is enabled. So now that that's all set up in your Stripe account, next you need to enable Stripe tax in MemberPress. So going back here on my WordPress dashboard, if I go to MemberPress, settings, and the taxes tab, click here to enable tax calculations. And then click here to enable Stripe Tax. And then here next to Stripe Tax Payment Method, select your Stripe Payment Gateway that you're using to collect payments. And then up here under Tax Options, this is where you're gonna set how taxes are calculated, which I mentioned earlier. Selecting Prices Entered Are Exclusive of Tax will add the price of the tax to the order. So it's like buying from a store most of the time. They pay, say, $19 for a membership or a product, plus the cost of the tax. So a customer's order total will be over $19. And here on the screens, a sample total from a registration page to show you what that looks like. So you can see $19 for the membership plus the tax. And selecting prices entered are inclusive of tax will only charge users the price of the membership in total. So in this example, they'd only pay $19. And the taxes would be taken out of the order. And you can see what that looks like here with this sample order. So just select how you want taxes to be calculated. And then be sure to click update options here at the bottom to save these changes. And that's it, Stripe Tax is now ready to go. Now I'm gonna go back to my Stripe dashboard to go over one more thing before I show you what this looks like on a registration page. So here on the Stripe dashboard, here on this top menu, if I click more and tax, and then go to registrations, Here's a list of locations that are registered in your Stripe account where you can collect taxes. And you could easily add more here too. So by default, your origin address that you set up earlier is automatically used as the address where you have tax obligations. And if your business is registered in multiple locations, you can add those here. Again, see the resources in the video description for much more information on the tax registration process and what you should set up in Stripe for your individual needs. So here, you can see that I'm set to collect taxes in the state of Texas in the United States. And I have some other areas set up too. 
Okay, so now that Stripe tax is enabled in my MemberPress settings, and I have everything set up in my Stripe account, now I'm going to go back to WordPress, and then I'm going to open my site in a new incognito window to show you what this looks like when a customer buys something on my site. If you're not familiar with it, an incognito window lets you view your site as if you're a brand new visitor, so you're not logged in as your site admin user. So you can use an incognito window to visit your site as if you're a brand new customer. And then I'll go to sign up, and then select one of my memberships, and here's the registration page. And just note that when you enable tax calculations in MemberPress, the address fields will automatically show up and be required in all your membership registration pages. So if you don't have them set to show up and you suddenly see them in your registration pages, that's why. So now I'm gonna to start to fill out my registration form with some fake testing data that I just make up. And this test customer will be from Texas since that's where I'm collecting taxes. So I'll enter a city in Texas and the state Texas, United States, and a zip code in Texas. And then once their location's filled out, you can see over here that taxes are calculated and they're added to the order. Again, in my member press settings, I have the price set to be exclusive of tax, which is why the customer is being charged the base price of the membership plus the tax. And again, you can change it to be inclusive of tax if you only want to charge the customer $19 in this case. So you can see that the taxes are calculated right away. So now I'm gonna go ahead and fill out this test sign up with some fake testing information and a test credit card number that I got on the testing page of the Stripe support documentation. And just note that I have my Stripe gateway and my Stripe account in test mode. So I'm able to create these fake purchases without charging real money to real credit cards. And then now once I have that filled out, I'll click sign up. It'll take a moment to process. And then here you can see the purchase went through. So here you can see the base payment and the tax right here. So as this test user that I just created, if I come up here to account, which takes me to this user's member account page, and then I'll go to the payments tab, you can see the total payment. And I do have the MemberPress PDF invoice add-on installed on my site. So right here, the user can download a PDF invoice of the transaction. So right here on the invoice, you can see the tax listed out here. Okay, then if I close this incognito window, and then go back to my WordPress dashboard as my site admin now. And then I'll go to member press and transactions. And then here I can see that test transaction that I just made. So if I click on it, here I can see the total amount charged in taxes and the tax rate that was charged too. And then going back to my Stripe dashboard, here under payments, you can see that test transaction right here. And you can click on it to see more information about it, like the total and net amounts and the fee taken by Stripe. And then if you come up here to more and taxes and registrations, you can click view report next to a location and then select a time frame, And then you can see your tax totals. And again, check out Stripe support documentation for more information on how to view tax information and stuff like that. So now going back to WordPress and back to member press and settings and the taxes tab. Another thing is if you enable VAT taxes here, Stripe tax will calculate taxes based on the user's VAT number. So real quick, I'll enable VAT taxes right here and then be sure to save the change. And then I'll open up my site in a new incognito window again. And then head to a registration page. And then I'll fill this out with some fake info again. And then now I'll enter some sample information for Paris, France. So France is a country that I have taxes set up for in Stripe. And then once I have that filled out, you can see here it calculates the VAT tax rate. So you can see our member press support documentation on VAT taxes for more information about those. Okay, so here going back to WordPress, I'm gonna show you a few tax related options that you can set per membership or product. So just remember that memberships are how things are actually sold with MemberPress. 
Even if you're selling a single, one-time purchase type of product, like an ebook or a course, you'll have a membership in MemberPress set up to sell it. So here in MemberPress and Memberships, I'll go ahead and click on a membership that I have. And then here on the membership, if I scroll down to membership options, and here on the registration tab, you can enable this option to exempt this individual membership from taxes. So if you have tax calculations set up on your MemberPress site, this won't charge any taxes on this particular membership. And then under the advanced tab, you can set a tax category for this individual membership too. It's set to the default tax category set up in your Stripe tax settings, which we saw earlier, but you can choose a different one here. So in this dropdown, there's a few options that you can choose, or you can select custom and then enter your own. And there's a link in the tooltip here with a list of tax codes that you can use. And here on the tooltip, you'll also see some helpful information and links about tax categories if you're not sure what you want to use. And that's about it. You've now seen the basics of how to set up Stripe Tax in your MemberPress website. Be sure to check out our support documentation page on using Stripe Tax with MemberPress for much more information. It's got a lot more detail and step-by-step -step guides on getting everything set up. And the links to the Stripe support documentation in the description have much more information about calculating taxes on your site. Also, be sure to follow our blog and YouTube channel for all of our latest tips and tricks on all things MemberPress. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, be sure to like, subscribe, and check out our other videos that makes getting MemberPress up and running a breeze.